September 30th, 1998. It's a day I'll never forget. Capcom has been absolutely killing it with its remakes. The Resident Evil 2 remake was incredible, and while the RE3 remake couldn't quite keep up with it, I still had a really good time. One thing was super obvious early on though, and that's that we all just needed a remake of Resident Evil 4. Well, our wish came true, and we played a small sample of it to answer the question, does Resident Evil 4 remake look like another absolute winner for Capcom? I'm Nick from What's Good, let's take a look. This time, it can be different. The first thing I noticed when I jumped into the Resident Evil 4 remake is that it looks beautiful. There's also a plethora of graphics options. A what? A plethora. Even on console there's quite a few with quality and performance modes, optional ray tracing, depth of field blur, heck, you can even turn on an option that gives Leon individual hair strands. Cause I'm worth it. What surprised me is how smooth the frame rate stayed even though I turned on quite a few of these options. I only got some heavy dips in the frame rate once I put it in quality mode and put on absolutely every optional setting. Graphics aside, the controls will feel familiar to anyone who's played the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes. But unlike those games that got converted over from set cameras and tank controls, Resident Evil 4 returns as the over-the-shoulder grandfather of them all, meaning that the remake feels way more familiar than the others. This just keeps getting worse. What is important is that the controls feel pretty great. Aiming can feel a bit niggly, especially when going for headshots though, but the general weight and response of Leon feels really fantastic, whether you're exploring or in combat. What remains to be seen is just how much will change in the remake, but anyone who's played RE4 knows that if they mostly stick to the original, there's a good chance that this is going to be a big hit for both returning fans and newcomers. Got something that might interest you. <laughs> So after some hands on time with the Resident Evil 4 remake, I'm not just impressed, I'm really excited. I can't wait to get my hands on the full game. It feels like Capcom has another winner on their hands and I'll be shocked if it's anything less than a big hit with critics and gamers. Could it be a game of the year contender? Make sure you subscribe to find out how it turns out when it releases. And what do you think, should remakes be allowed to be considered for game of the year awards? Tell us in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button to let us know. Oh, if you're into spooky games, you'll probably also want to check out our Dead Space remake review, as well as some others that I've linked at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. I'm Nick from What's Good. I'll see you soon.